said, would lay siege to 8 million people with 900,000 troops. Women, children, sick people, locked in as animals. Of what I know of England, if 8 million animals were locked in, the RSPCA would have made a lot of noise about it. These are human beings. What is going to happen when the curfew is lifted will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the demo, when they come out? There will be a bloodbath. Mr. President, has anyone thought that what happens when there is a bloodbath? And we will fight. And when... And when, and when, and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN. You've got to. This is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. This is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days. The world community must give the people of Kashmir the right of self